Hi there. Are your emails that you're sending out going into people's junk folders when they arrive at the other end? Well, you can fix that. It's something that you can control. This video talks about how you can do that in non-technical language. Crack on. So let's talk about what you're trying to do. Maybe you're doing a MailShot campaign regularly and you use a tool like uh, MailChimp or HubSpot, which has got clever links in it for tracking whether people have read the emails or not. And what's happening is you're sending out 200 emails and practically all of them end up going in the junk folder of the recipient. So your mail campaign was a waste of time. Why is that? Well, let's pretend you were doing it on paper. Now, when you send out an e um, a letter in an envelope, you've got the address on the front of the envelope. You've also got the postmark. Now, the postmark does actually give you, the recipient, a little clue as to where that letter really came from. I mean, it's not amazingly accurate, but it's something, okay? Now, when it comes to emails, there is a sort of equivalent thing that you can look at an email and you can look inside at the hidden information and it gives clues about the actual place, the actual address, numerical address that this email came from, as well as who who is claiming to have sent it. And this is what we're going to talk about here. Is the email really from the sender? So let's talk about an email that you've that's come to you and it's from someone at mydomainname.com. So the first thing you will check is, are, is there an official list of sending servers for mydomainname.com? Probably won't be that many, maybe one or two, maybe three. So let's go and reach out across the internet and check. And if the email has come from one of those official servers, then that's a good sign. It's probably, it's probably real. Whereas if the email has actually come from a different server that's not on that list, or maybe the person at mydomainname.com has never bothered to set that list up, then you're going to be suspicious. You don't know whether it's come from the right place. You might well treat it as junk. And there's another twist in the tale which is coming, which is um, emails will start to have certificates built into them. And the certificate must match a copy of the certificate again registered across the internet somewhere and your email program goes and checks and says well if the certificate matches that's definitely good and if it doesn't match that's definitely bad now this security setting is being tightened at the moment it's not mainstream but it's coming okay so how does uh, a mail program like outlook or apple mail or google mail how does it check where does it go what does it look for so there's a bunch of um, settings that belong to your domain. So, you know, I have itforbusinessuk.com. There's a bunch of settings that relate to that, which contain things like, where's my website? If somebody wants to go to www.itforbusinessuk.com, where do they go? How's that translated? Uh, if someone wants to send me an email, where does email get delivered to? Well, this is all, this kind of stuff is all in my DNS settings. There's another one, which is when you configure... Uh, an Office 365 account, all you do is put in your email address and your password. Well, how does it figure out how to work out whether that's okay? Or all that information is in my DNS settings. Okay, then the new setting there is, well, it's not new actually, but what's the official list of email sending servers for my company? And as I referred to before, is there an official email certificate? Okay. Now, in the old days, there were other reasons why email got junked. Um, it was things like, does it have a link in it that just says, click me, because that's probably dodgy. Uh, maybe there was not very much text and loads of big fat images. That was also regarded as a bit dodgy. I mean, these days you have, um, art well, the buzzword is artificial intelligence, but basically you have computer programs running algorithms that scan every single email and decide, mm, that's dodgy, that's not dodgy. I'll give it a rating. If the rating's too serious, it's probably junk. It's more about this official uh, sending server business at the moment, and soon it will be about the certificate thing. Now, the other situation where your email fails, it just doesn't arrive. Now, that could be that the user has got an upstream filter. In other words, they don't get any emails unless they've predefined who's acceptable. Um, so that is increasingly an issue. So you, again, as, as the mail campaign manager, you need to tell people Please make sure you've added my email address as OK. OK, and now 
how do you get these complicated DNS settings right for your domain? And the bottom line is DNS really, really matters. It matters more and more and more. It's been creeping up on us for 20 years. Up to about five years ago, you could get away with the default settings and most things would work fine. And for 80% of the default settings, if you get it wrong and then you realize that 10 minutes later you need to change it, it's fine. But for about 20% of it, it is not fine. It's a real problem if you mess up your DNS settings. Uh, the second point to observe is that particularly for email sending this thing where the official list of servers for years and years this has been a setting you could have put for years and years and years i mean 20 years um email programs didn't mind they sort of weren't checking that hard but in the last 18 months two years it's become much more important i had a i had a friend contact me and i said your email's going into my junk folder now and he said well i haven't changed anything and that's the point he hadn't changed anything but the rest of the internet had and programs like Outlook and Go were getting more picky and more fussy. So you need to get these things right. The other problem with DNS is um, you've got your web developer on one side, your IT support people on the other side, each saying it must be like this. This particular bit must be correct. And you end up with a bum fight. And if they don't, if they're not compatible, what are you going to do? And the, the answer is just get an independent specialist, a referee who will look at the requests from all the different people saying, I need it to be like this and they will merge them together correctly and get everything set up. And this is a new kind of service. Now, I recommend a company called Room 101. They are brilliant at this. They are email deliverability specialists. They will figure out what's going wrong and how to fix it. And look, you can you can say 120 quid to register a domain, but really it's 120 quid for several hours of support if you need it, plus the domain registration, or you can pay 20 quid and get absolutely no support. I mean, it's it's a no brainer to me. Pay for the expert because more and more you need that expert. So sorry, that's a long rambling video on why DNS is so important and how you can use it to get your emails to not go into the junk folders for people. It's nothing to do with or it's the .co.uk or .com domain. It's nothing to do with that. It's about getting the settings right. So good luck. Contact me. Please like and subscribe and any ideas for future videos. Drop me a message, alex at itforbusinessuk.com.